Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a brand new Misty or Eau de Parfum to review. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I am a big fan of the Misty or range. Even though they are very pricey, I do love the fragrances and the Misty or Cherie that has been discontinued for a long time now, but the original of this modern interpretation of Misty Or was my favorite perfume. So there's a brand new version of the Eau de Parfum that's just come out, so I have it. I'm gonna compare it to the Eau de Parfum that has just been discontinued, let you know what I think, and do the unboxing here for you. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. I have hundreds of other videos all about perfumes, so do check them out. I also have a website where I have broken down all the different versions of Misty Or over the years. I'll leave the link to that article down below and if you are a regular viewer but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button here on YouTube and show your support and I will leave links to where you can buy this down below in the description box but I don't think it's launched quite yet in every country I got mine from the Dior website but I'll update the links as it becomes available so what I did is I ordered the new Miss Dior Eau de Parfum and I also ordered the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, which has been discontinued. So this wasn't on the Dior website. I got it from Essential, who were still selling this, I guess, old version as of this week. They were actually doing a 20% off, um, so I'll leave that discount code down below. So at, at the moment, I don't have the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. I have Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming and Blooming Bouquet, and I have an old Ch Cherie, but I don't have the latest... 2017 Misty or Eau de Parfum. So I bought that so I could compare it. So obviously first impressions, the box of the new one, which this one is smaller than the predecessor, which they're both 30 mils. I can also see that the Dior pattern on the boxes is more indented in the old one than in the new one. And the logo on the old one is in a sort of gray colored box. The new ones are kind of purpley colored box. I really don't know why they keep reinventing it. There was an edition that came out about 10 years ago, then this 2017 one. Before that, there was other versions, Miss Dior Cherie. It's, it just, I couldn't believe it when I saw they brought out another Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. So if I unbox the predecessor. Okay, so here's the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum that we've been used to for the past few years. And I'm gonna spray it on one wrist. So it's a really warm patchouli with some rose. There's a rosewood in the base. It's It feels kind of heavy. It feels very chipre. And even though there are some top notes with like orange, blood orange, citrus, I don't really get them from the Eau de Parfum. I never have from this version. It's always just been patchouli rose. I think after a while, maybe a slight blood orange is coming through. But it's really all, it's all about that patchouli and it has a slightly powdery feel to the patchouli. Personally, I've always preferred absolutely blooming version of the Eau de Parfum, which is the one I have, which has some berry notes in. So now let's unbox this new version. Okay, so here it is. So the first obvious difference is that the metal bow has been replaced by a fabric bow, which is quite thick. It's quite a stiff, thick fabric. You can see that the bottle has changed. It's a little bit smaller and the liquid is more, um, this is, the old one was more of an orangey pink, this new one is more of a, I don't know, pinky pink, purpley pink, kind of similar to the Blooming Bouquet colour, I think. So I think it's good at least that it's very obviously different with the different bow. Sometimes when they bring out these new versions, they look so similar to the original, you don't know what you're getting. This is very clearly different from the bottle. So I'm gonna spray this on the other wrist. Okay, it's totally different. It's a totally new fragrance. Much fresher, lighter, delicater. It's more like Blooming Bouquet. Okay, and it's fading quite quickly. Hmm, it's not got that signature patchouli vibe of the, that Miss Dior has always had. Hmm, let's read what it says about it on their website. Okay, it says it's adorned with a new fabric bow, few centimeters of pure luxury. <laughs> In terms of the fragrance, it says it's a floral bouquet, the floral freshness of lily of the valley, an expressive peony accord, iris, mm, give it a dewy quality. I do get a dewy quality. I do get some lily of the valley and some iris. I don't get peony. 
Okay, it says that there's a delicate, creamy, lush, and velvety rose. Mm, I maybe get a little bit of rose, around which an armful of flowers resembling a milfoy, milfoy come up. I'm not sure, that's a French thing. And then it says soft, comforting musks, a touch of Papua New Guinea vanilla, a dash of benzoin, and a hint of tonka bean. Encounter a creamy sandalwood. Why am I not getting tonka bean? I don't think I'm getting vanilla. I can see there's some sandalwood, but guys, this this is light. I would never have guessed this was an eau de parfum. It's, I can now barely smell it, so I'm gonna have to try it again. I mean, you get a fair amount in the spray. Okay, so at first I really definitely get Lily of the Valley. I get fresh white florals. And then it's just fading. I, I get a bit of like a bergamot, like a citrusiness. It's fading really fast. And this is kind of disappointing me a bit because you guys know I love Miss Dior. The original Miss Dior Cherie was the patchouli with a popcorn. It was he heavy and strong and sweet and it was just amazing. And then the reformulated versions were okay. I still really like them. I like my absolutely blooming. And now Miss Dior Eau de Parfum has become a Lily of the Valley fragrance. Like where's that come from? And it kind of reminds me of the like the exclusive traditional collections that they have. They have like Forever and Ever Dior, Diorissimo, those ones. It kind of reminds me of that. Like a light Lily of the Valley. Miss Dior is not a Lily of the Valley fragrance. I mean maybe back in the day when in the original version from the 40s but not the modern Natalie Portman Miss Dior. It's sexy and in your face. The Eau de Parfums. Maybe I get a, a woody vanilla now. It's gonna take me a few weeks to get over this. <laughs> um, personally I definitely prefer the old version to this version. I'm not a personally a Lily of the Valley fan, so that's probably why I'm not loving this new one. If you like Lily of the Valley, you will probably like it. I think on the bottle, I do love this new bow. I think that's really cool. One thing I have just noticed though is the bow is kind of attached to this plastic thing around the top of the lid. I can see there's like a transparent plastic bit. But then on the previous versions, it was this metal. This felt very solid. It never occurred to me that this bow could come off. But I feel on this plastic bit, I feel like it could slip slip off and because like the bow's tied to it. It feels, it just feels plasticier because it, I guess because it is plastic. And that makes it feel a bit cheaper. And considering the price point on these, so I think I paid 50 something pounds for the 30 mil. Um, I would expect not to have a plasticky feel, you know? Hmm. Interesting guys, very interesting. Let's hope they don't change Miss Dior absolutely blooming because then that will just be the end of the world. <laughs> so I'm glad I stocked up on this old version before it goes. Um, you can still get it on some websites. It's off the Dior website, the old version. And I've noticed it's off of a couple of others, but some still have it. So I'll find it and leave it in the links below where you can still get it. If you're a fan of this, then stock up on it before it goes forever. They have, of course, done a new marketing campaign with Natalie Portman, beautiful images. I love the Miss Dior marketing. I think the pictures and the branding are just beautiful. I love the colors. Natalie Portman's actually my favorite actress. So when she became the new face of Miss Dior, it was like, literally like they read my mind. I love her look and Sofia Coppola de um, did the last video and stuff as in, Francis Ford Coppola's daughter, who did Lost in Translation, who was in The Godfather 3, who I also really love. So the branding and marketing of Miss Dior is for sure my favorite of all perfumes. It's just the fragrances keep getting changed in a not good way, an annoying way for Sophie. So yeah. So guys, let me know, have you managed to try this new version yet? What do you think of it? Let me know which one you prefer when you've managed to try this new one, which one do you prefer, which is your favorite from all the Dior ones. And do check out my website if you haven't already and my article with all the different Miss Dior's on. But yeah, interesting. I think I need to go and have a lie down now. <laughs> but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.